as Heidi's experience, partly your experience in raising a newborn and sort of tackling motherhood and, you know, having a career as well? I think so. I mean, I think the, the hard thing about writing for teens and always having a teen narrator is you don't get to use a lot of things that have happened since high school. So I've had to find creative ways to work in my post high school experience. And um, with Heidi having a newborn right when I had a newborn, just about, I think I started this book when my daughter was six months old or something. Um, and uh, it was very, it was a good way for me to funnel my experience, although my baby was not nearly as, as difficult as Thisbe was in terms of being colicky and everything. But um, I also love that idea of sort of all the girls in this book and all the women in this book, starting from this very little baby all the way up to like Auden's mom and the different phases of being a girl. The book's original title was The World of Girls. Um, and Auden talks about how she just feels a foreigner in the world of girls. Um, and so I was really interested in that, and I think being able to show that whole spectrum was really fun. I think I am a lot more like Heidi, you know, than maybe I even am like Auden, although I think I, I really meet somewhere in, in the middle of the two of them. <laughs> I have a question about your writing, okay. your writing style. Um, I noticed you like pull together a lot of things at the end. Do you map that out, or does it just fall and you put things like... Well, ideally, it looks like it just happens very gracefully. <laughs> and um, that has a lot to do with my editor, who's fantastic. But um, usually, I don't plan too far ahead. Um, but as I would say that writing and ending is kind of like being on a roller coaster. You know, you've been up and down and up and down. And then it's sort of this tick, 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 tick. And you get up to the top. And you can then suddenly, you can just see everything out. And it's like, OK, this is how I'm going to weave all these little pieces together. Um, and if it works, it's great. If it doesn't work, you kind of have to go back and pull a few stitches out and restitch them in. But I knew that I wanted the ending to be sort of a big epiphany for Auden. And um, I needed sort of a big event to bring that into place. And, um, and then ideally, like with the planning, it just kind of all falls into place. But there's a lot of editing involved. My, my first drafts are big, messy things and just awful. And then I have to go back through and really... I never start a book until I have what I call my skeleton, which is um, the first scene, last scene, climactic scene, and the first line. And I just like to start with that. And often the climactic scene will end up not being the climactic scene in the end, or the ending ends up being different. But it's just kind of like having a little bit of a roadmap before you... I've started books without having that, and it's disastrous. It's like 300 pages and nothing has happened yet. So um, I like to have some sense of where I'm going, but also leave space open to improvise a little bit. Yeah, I've tried my hand at writing, and it yeah. doesn't work out without a... Everybody's different. I mean, I, I know people who outline every chapter, and that works for them. But for me, I'm so sort of organized that if I outlined, I would feel like I couldn't vary from it. I couldn't change anything. And um, I think sometimes you'll be writing a book and on page 75, the most interesting person so far wanders in and you just weren't even planning on it. And suddenly they're more fascinating than anything that's happened in the book. And it's like, oh, this book is about this person. Clearly throw out that, you know, those first 75 pages and start there. So you have to be open to that. Now, what was like some of your like inspiration for like the other like past girl characters like Annabelle? Like what was your inspiration for her? in Just Listen? Well, when I started with Just Listen, um, I was really intrigued with the, again, with perfection. This is something that I guess has just kind of haunted me <laughs> since my <laughs> high school days. Um, and I loved the idea of, I was, at, I was actually at a private school getting ready to give a talk and they had a yearbook out on the table and I opened the yearbook and they had all these candid shots at the end and there was a picture of these three beautiful girls standing in front of a swimming pool in a big house and they were just gorgeous. And I remember looking at them and thinking, oh, their lives must be perfect. And then in the next moment thinking, why on earth would I assume that? Just because they're beautiful? Just because they have a big house? Just because, and that was sort of where Annabelle came from. Like, what if you were sort of held up as being the ideal teenager, but you're not? You know, things have happened and in, in, in you have secrets that you're holding back and things that are really saddening you and you can't share them. Um, so that was where, where that one came from. They all, all of the, all of the books start with the main character, always. Um, Usually they start with the name. A name will come to me and I'll, I'll, I'll love the name and then I'll start to sort of build the person around the name. But it always starts with character rather than with, you know, I'm going to write a book about this or I'm going to write a book about this. It's always, I'm going to write a book about her and, and who is she. And then she'll just sort of start to show herself to me.